Alright, so family, we just came from the cultural center here at La City Cultural Village, and uh, now we're on our way to see all the replica of the beautiful villages that uh, are here that represent uh, the country of South Africa and Lesotho. So, yes, family, it is just a beautiful day here, and uh, we're just enjoying the greenery, the nice energy. And just when they let you see how beautiful it is, now we're about an hour outside of Johannesburg. And so when we do these incredible journeys, you know, we take you out, you know, and uh, you know, make sure you get a nice feel of the country. And this is one of my favorite uh, spots right here. It's perfect for photos. Right over here. All right, and this is a nice little social area. And we're on the way into another cultural center and get you a nice, beautiful, wonderful presentation. <coughs> and we're gonna get some additional light here. All right, as a matter of fact, it's not that bad. Uh, we have one other person coming. One person. I greet you in the many languages of Africa and welcome you to Nisaidi, place of light. I am Musi, the storyteller, a guardian of the Umlano. The ancient tribal history is as legend has passed down from generation to generation. This is the story of my people and Africa, beautiful, free and wise. ancient origins of man have been found here in Africa. For that reason, Africa is called the cradle of mankind. On this continent, any man probably took his first altering steps. So, we humans do have a common heritage that binds us together. Seated around the warm embers of the fire, those with ancient wisdom and diviners have told me that in the beginning the natural world was our earth mother and almost like Linnon the vulture, our cycle of life was the cycle of nature. Since the earliest mists of time, here in southern Africa, the Khoisan, also known as Bushmen, and ancient people hunted and gathered the fruits of the wild and communicated with the spirit world of animals. They hunted for survival, but honored the animals in beautiful paintings.
was a bushman. Indeed, all Africans, hunting was our lifeline. was a great step forward as we began to gain power over the dangerous land. Many centuries ago, we Africans mined and smelted iron, from which we fashioned in Kondo, hunting spears, and so we advanced our civilizations. In time, we learned to be farmers and planted food. However, for us, cattle were and will always be our most treasured possessions. Almost part of the family, with their own names and their own characters. the great herds of game, we followed the rains, a migrant people, always in search of new pasture. And so it was that we left the mythical lands of Embo in Northeast Africa and began to migrate far away into the unknown lands of the south. Our ancestors never knew that our final home would be here at the tip of Southern Africa. <laughs> Wave upon wave, and century after century, through the mists of time, we migrated, taking with us our cattle, our culture, our traditions, and the myths and legends of our ancestors. The first track I brought in Umzanti Africa. Africa, South Africa, our Garden of Eden, thousands of years ago. Some settled in the great range of mountains called Izindavas of Kashamba, the Dragon's Bay. Now, the different cultures of we, the Nguni and the Sufi peoples, grew strong like the Umpapa trees, which keep the spirit of the ancestors. Ours was a land of plenty, and our people and cattle grew and multiplied. Known to us, a mighty empire was about to be born, and the lives of my people were to change forever. Hobby, to a small tribe called the Zulu, was born a great king. Shaga, the Black Napoleon. His armies, known as Impis, with their short stabbing spears and horn shaped military formation, created a mighty Zulu empire. With Shaka's rise, soon other empires rose. Then came a time of terrible war and devastation called Umpetani, the scattering of the people. As if that was not enough, the forces 
forces of the British and the Boers were also vying for power and resources in South Africa. There were many battles of resistance as they advanced into the interior. The Zulu Indies washed their spears in British blood at the place called Isanjuan and Rock Street. He said to Ido and an Indy, an underdog of more than 20,000, crushed the might of the British, the greatest defeat ever suffered at the hands of men without guns. I am proud to be a great grandson of one of those warriors. After the battle, the warriors danced in praise for the brave red coats. For such was our custom to honor great courage. Africa is a place of great suffering. We Africans were even caught up in the wars that followed between British and the Boers. Having lived through these great wars, now a new threat emerged. Colonialism, the economy of money and greed. Soon, the politics of apartheid threatened to annihilate our cultures completely. And so it was for many years in our beloved land. Heroes, rose one we shall remember forever. Nelson Honisata Mandela, Madiba, father of the people, the first democratically elected president of the new South Africa. Never, never, and never again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one by another. Through the centuries of darkness, we have become the nation of the rainbow. We have kept the light of our different cultures alive. Friends, Mangani. The Ndebele are the artists of Southern Africa. They are people of a mixed heritage. People who bring a kaleidoscope of color and beauty to their simple mud walled homes. A people now well famous for their art. Seen even on the tails of airplanes. Solo, people of the heaven. warrior people who with their rawhide shields and broad bladed stepping spears created a reputation that standard around the world as they defied soldiers with guns. Through their songs and dances their proud history is reading. Really. The Basutu 
from the mountain kingdom of Lesotho with their conical heads, colorful blankets, and skillful horsemanship. Their founder, King Mushueshwe, during the Great Wars gave refuge to scatterlings in his mountain fortress, Tababusiyu, Mountain of the Night and in so doing, created a new nation. Ever fearful of attack, he was grateful for every sunrise, which he would greet with the words, I thank the light of another day. From the beautiful hills and coastline of the Eastern Cape come the Tosa with their painted faces, blankets and pipes and their chest-beating dances. It is from these people that our hero Nelson Mandela emerged to lead all the peoples of South Africa to freedom. From Sekwane Lake come the Pedi with their unusual architecture, horn whistles and great drums. Legend has it that in a great war they saw the Scottish Highlanders approach dressed in kilts. They refused to fight what they thought was an army of women. They were defeated and to this day wear the kilt as a remembrance of that trickery. to the safety, place of light. We greet you in the light of our cultures and the light of this, our rainbow nation. In the rhythm and pulse of Africa, in the songs and dances of the place of light, Kibona Lisei. My friends, you have made an effort to visit us, and you will be rewarded. Relax, be our guests. We are honored that you are here. And for you, a journey of discovery is about to begin. And hopefully, our songs will touch you deep inside. Just as they touch us.